Hey Google, generate an image of a tiger riding a horse. And that is the all new assistant from Google called Gemini. Google is replacing the Google Assistant by Gemini, which is a generative artificial intelligence chatbot developed by Google. This is gonna change the way we have been getting assistance from Google. We will have a lot more to do with the all new Gemini. We can not only ask questions to get answers, we'll also be able to generate the images through AI and do a lot of other stuff which the Google Assistant could not do. In this video, let's go ahead and take a look at this all new Gemini and I'll also tell you how you can install this. Currently, this is officially available in the US and the rest of the region will have to wait for the official update. Now let's go ahead. Hey Google, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. As a language model, I don't have emotions or feelings in the same way that humans do, but I'm always learning and growing, which is exciting. How are you doing today? This is something which Google can do. Uh, we can ask questions and we can get answers. We will be able to interact with Gemini. Now let me ask a question. How is the weather? You see, we've got the weather information. Now let me ask Gemini to write a sick leave for me, which I can send it to my superiors in the office. Hey Google, write a sick leave. You see, it's generating here. It says, I can't write a sick leave for you without some more information. To write an effective sick leave, I'll need to know who you are writing to, the reason for your absence, the dates you want to be absent, whether you have a doctor's note. So this is asking me to be a little more precise uh, to write this mail. Hey Google, write a sick leave as I am running fever. I will be absent tomorrow and day after. As you can see, it has generated a mail here and we also have a dictator here. I can turn on this mic. Uh, the Gemini is going to read it out for me. Now, uh, if I want to share this mail right from here, I can share it. I can tap on this three dot button. I can export to docs, export to Gmail. I can directly export this to Gmail. That is great. And we can create a public link, modify response, other draft. Now let me tap on modify response. You see here, we've got shorter version of this mail, longer, simpler, more casual, more professional. We can generate the way we want uh, by selecting these options here, which is just fantastic. Now let me go back. Now you see, this is the home page that you're gonna see when you uh, open the Gemini. On the top, we will get some suggestions and you will see the recently uh, search history. Uh, I can tap on this arrow button to see more history here. Let me go back. At the bottom, we have got this mic and the uh, camera icon as well. I can just tap on this camera icon to take a picture and search that particular image, like how we do it on the uh, Google Lens, or I can tap on this gallery icon to select a particular image. Now I have selected this image, I'll attach this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask a question about this particular image. Can you copy text from this image? Uh, for some reason it's not working. I did try this before. It was able to capture the details from this image and show me the summary of what is written on that particular image. Maybe this is still in the works. Uh, this should work better in the future. Now let me just tap on this example here. It says, give me some ideas to surprise my concert loving friend on their birthday. You can ask similar questions to generate the ideas. Let me tap on this now. You see it is generating the images to surprise my concert loving friend on their birthday. I can just scroll down and tap on the three dot button and modify this response if you want it to be simpler. Now let me ask YouTube video title for the all new Gemini. You see it's generating a video title for me. Maybe I will add one of these titles. As you can see, we have got intriguing, benefit focused, specific features, humorous. Remember to also consider. Now there are different categories in which I'm getting these responses. And you can also see the previous uh, search history. When I go up, you can see the previous search history here. Now here is the title, unveiling the all new Gemini. The future is here, introducing the all new Gemini. Get ready to be amazed, the all new Gemini is here. Now this is just fantastic. This is how it used to work on the Google's Bard. Of course the Bard is now Gemini and Gemini is now on the Android phone. Now let's try to generate some images here. Generate an image of a beautiful castle on a beach. You see it has generated some beautiful images here. Let me tap on this one here. I'll be able to save this by tapping on this download button. The image has been saved. Let me open this. Let's see how clear is this image. It's not bad. It is definitely usable, uh, but not in a very high resolution as such, but definitely usable. Now let me go back. I can tap on generate more to generate some more images here. 
Let me just open this particular image. You see, this looks beautiful. I'll go back and open this one here. Now, these are some amazing images which Gemini has generated. Now, this is how the Google's all new Gemini works on an Android phone. Now, let me tap on this uh, profile image and go to these settings. You see, we have got a few settings options here. And here, when I tap on screen context, I have got an option here, analyze on screen text, allow the device assistance app to analyze text shown on the screen to provide related content. Now, this is something which I have already enabled, but uh, it doesn't work on my phone. Maybe since this is not an official app, this is not working. And we've got analyze on screen images, allow the device assistance app to take and use images of the screen. This is also enabled, but I'm not able to uh, use this feature on the phone. Uh, this is something similar to what we got on the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. Uh, the circle to search feature will be able to touch on the image on the screen. Google is going to search the images right there on the screen. It looks like this is how this feature works on the Gemini as well. Uh, that is going to be very interesting. I will keep you posted about this particular feature. Now let me go back. I'll tap on Google Assistant features in Gemini. You see, use Google Assistant features. I'll be able to access the Google Assistant features when you use your voice with Gemini, such as setting alarms or sending messages. Those things can be done on Gemini as well. And we also have the voice match option and a few other settings here. Let me go back. Now, if you want to get back to the Google Assistant, if you don't want Gemini, then all you need to do is just go to the uh, Google Assistant application and tap on the profile picture and tap on settings. Now here you will see this option, Google Assistant. Just scroll down, you will see an option, Digital Assistants from Google. When you tap on this, you get two options, Gemini and Google Assistant, uh, which means that Google is not gonna remove Google Assistant so early, this will remain here. You can select if you want Google Assistant and if you want a Gemini to replace it, you can select Gemini here. Now I'd be very interested in using Gemini and I'm gonna explore more features and options on Gemini and I'll keep you guys posted if I find something more interesting. Now let me tell you how you can install the all new Gemini on your Android phone if you are living outside of the US. All you need to do is just download an APK from a reliable APK website. You can check out APK Mirror where you will be able to find this APK. Uh, I will leave a link for that in the description. You can go ahead and download it. That APK will be from unknown source. So give the required permissions and install the application. You will be able to use the all new Gemini on your Android phone. Let me know what are your thoughts about Google Gemini. Would you prefer uh, Gemini or the Google Assistant? Drop a comment and give this video a like and hit the subscribe button if you want to know your phone better. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan Sunning off. Cheers. Bye-bye.